welcome to another book review. Today uh, I'm going to present to you The Darkest Moon by Lindsay Hall and this was the most out there um, book that I have read so far in my life, I think. Um, it has so many elements to it, so it keeps you ever intrigued as it evolves. It got all the creatures under the sun, I think, in the paranormal sense of worlds, not the mythical and epic fantasy creatures, but the, you know, the vampires, the fays, the, the, the wolves, the shifters, everything. So, um, it also has, um, potion, charms, bracelets, herbs, scents, smoking, magical essence um, so if you like a book like this you where you are really open-minded to the, the 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 magical and the supernatural and this is truly a book for you it does test sort of um, all the imagination and you sort of have to be willing to jump into a ride where you can go anywhere at any time and anything can happen, uh, which is very exciting. So it kept me on my toes through the whole um, book. Uh, so yes, this is about uh, Eve and Lochlan, and I hope I'm saying that right. It's um, Scottish ancestry name, I think. So um, it writes the story from both perspectives, which is something that I've actually grown to really like um, because it does give you the views from, from both parties and their inner struggles um, so that um, you can see as well how much misunderstanding could come um, between them and what stakes they have of their own, which doesn't maybe match their relationship. and. Um, and how they're trying to get around that. So um, this book is very well written uh, in that sense that um, you, you, they, they, the both the characters um, have their own sort of problem area where they have to work on, and you get to know it, and you get to know how they interact with each other. Um, so it's it's uh, so, so it's about Eve. Uh, who is a a rejected mate? She becomes a uh, fated mate to the alpha of her clan, and uh, he is horrible. And he tells her things that uh, makes her feel awful, uh, ugly, and not worthy of him. So she runs away. He has obviously said them to her in his own way for his own reasons, which she doesn't know about, but she escaped. She got under the radar and been hidden for years. And um, she's going to do the last transaction to a blackmailer who is um, threatening to, re to reveal all her secrets. And unfortunately, it goes sideways and he and she gets accused of murder and up in ends up in the alpha's dungeon uh, and from there and uh, you know she's trying really hard to have a low profile to to help solve this murder without letting Lochlan know or know um who she is um, she has a charm. She's she's completely changed to look like a fae, um, you know the scent and everything that a that a, a wolf shifter mate would otherwise realize. She has completely obliterated, so he doesn't know. Um, but obviously there is still a tug there, so he suspects and so on. So you follow this um, emotional ride between the two and whether or not they're going to end up together. And so it, it was definitely an intriguing uh, concept with, with everything that was going on. And as I said, uh, you know, um, whether or not you can accept the fact of the magic and the glamours and then um, 
you know the convenience of, of things that she needs at the time and she has them and then um, then this is definitely a book for you because it does um, it does not stay within the frame of what you are normally expected to see so um, yeah it, it, for me who likes new things and getting into new adventures and learning about new things and see where the world takes stories um, on, on paranormal stories or urban fantasy stories in the society this was uh, a, a really fresh fresh read so so uh, yeah well done Lindsay Hall and um, for a great story and if you like her books um, or you want to check out this one uh, you know I recommend that you do, do you have a look at her work and um, if you have read her some of her books of this one then you can leave a comment in the comment section below what you thought of it and if you haven't already uh, given a thumbs up and subscribed to my channel then you can do so now and as always I wish you a very good day thank you very much for watching bye <laughs>